Hey, Pokedad fan club, it's me, Pokedad, and today we are doing our very first episode ever of a new category of videos I'm doing called Winning Rogues. And these are decks by people who they were either archetypes that are not known or they're maybe it's an old deck with a new spicy twist to it. Now, in this case, we're going to be looking at an archetype that is not well known at all but has just done really well at the Singapore special event and so I've got uh, Clive here he's all the way from Singapore and I'm so excited to have him here uh, Clive why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself okay my name is Clive and I'm from Singapore and uh, I'm competing competitively in this season Okay, great. And you were telling me this is just your first competitive season, correct? Yes. All right. Well, tell me, um, so where are you on your road to earning your invite? Have you gotten it yet? Actually, I already got my invite uh, like three months ago. Okay. But, uh, it's kind of expensive to travel to America to play in Wales, so I decided to uh, chase for the travel awards. So uh, right now I'm at 762. Okay. And currently I'm top 8 in Oceania. Therefore, I'm kind of safe that uh, I will get the travel awards, so I'll be going to Wales this year. Okay, that's great. Congratulations on that. Thank you so much. Uh... All right, now, so tell me, and I know when we're talking about international events, things are a little different than here in the United States, but uh, at least in the United States right now, the big uh, decks are Buzzwall with the three baby buzz Buzzwalls, uh, Malamar variants, and Zorark is still seeing some play. How about in Singapore and your meta? Is it similar to that? Is that what you usually see? Have been seeing at the events, or how, is there anything different? Maybe. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the at, at Forbidden Light started uh, in Malaysia regionals. So basically, that is before Baby Bus is uh, famous. Mm -hmm. So uh, a lot of players actually still sticks to Bus World in Oceania. Okay. So in a lot of events, you will see a lot of buzzword top cut. Yeah. Uh, and for Zora, it's getting lesser and lesser, but there's still some place. But uh, in the top cut, you will not see a lot of Zoros. Okay. And same. Same goes to Malama. Not. It's not a lot of players play Malama, but because it's too, in my opinion, it's. It still lose to Buzzword in a way, so not a lot of people choose to see. So I guess Oceana players love to play safe decks. Okay. Did you yeah. see um do, do you see any Greninja break, Greninja break, um, or anything like that? Uh a few Greninja breaks like during my top cut, uh and my top eight I versus uh, my fellow Singaporean, Joey. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he played Greninja break. Okay. So, oh, yeah, occasionally you will see a few Greninjas, but in my opinion, Greninja is not a threat. Okay, that sounds good. Now, um, so all right, so we're talking about Zygarde here, and you know, a lot of people, especially in the U.S., everybody really says, "Oh, Zygarde's not very good." Nobody wants to play it, and you just said. I don't care what people think. I'm going to play it anyway. How did you come to choose that deck for this event? Okay, so basically, uh, I'm, I'm uh, aiming for travel awards, right? Therefore, I consulted my friend. I asked him, do you have any secret deck for me to play in Malaysia Regionals? Uh -huh. So after that, he said, why not use Zygat? Because Zygat is not... Uh, it's not in a triangle meta, where by the triangle meta is Baso, Malama, and Zorok. So uh, at first, I'm a little bit skeptical. I'm like, this Pokemon is not good, high energy count, 
and bony is not consistent. Mm -hmm. So therefore, uh, my friend still chooses to uh, play Zygarde in local tournament. Okay. And he, he get first multiple times. Therefore, uh, a week before the regionals, I decided to use this deck. Okay. Because, yeah, because uh, this deck is created by my friend, Ralph, and he changes it uh, like seven to eight times. So the list uh, is, the list is, I would say it's close to optimal in my opinion. Okay. So, yeah, so I decided, yeah, why not just try it and I got my result and that, and another thing is the surprise factor. Exactly. Because, yes, nobody practiced against Zygarde GX, but I have practiced against all the meta decks, so I know what to do and they don't know what to do against me. So that's a, that's an advantage right there. Very good. Yeah, I like that. That's it. So it did bring a lot of surprise. Well, now you know, with you doing so well, it's probably the cat's out of the bag. We might see more people start playing it. Well, um, hopefully, I, I would like to see that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about the tournament. So, how many players or masters were there approximately? So, uh, in regionals, Malaysia is the biggest in Oceania. Okay. Uh, we, ha we have 173 players. And in Singapore special event, we have 71 players. Okay. And how many rounds was it? So, Malaysia is eight rounds. And Singapore is seven rounds. Okay, and so talk talk. Was it uh, best of one or best of three? Oh, best of two, best of two. Okay, so in round one, what did you play against? Okay, uh, wait. Let me let me go back. Check. Okay, really. <laughs> okay. Yeah, take your time. Use any notes you might have. It's fine. Yeah, because I posted the hair for Yeah. Okay, so I'll talk about Malaysia Regionals and my Singapore. But first is uh my first my first round is against Lapras and it's it's kinda easy win in my opinion. Okay. Yeah, because they can't hit two hundred, even they run very hot. So basically round one my opponent run very hot. He get what he wanted, but he just couldn't one shot knock me out. So that's the key. Yeah, I won the game. All right, so that that's kind of the first thing I'm already seeing with Zygarde is even though it's only 10 more HP than Buzzwall, that 10, everybody's trying to hit that magic 190. Yeah. And it yeah. So, and, and when you have 200, it just it throws off the math. So that's, okay, that's good. Yeah, so my second round, I'm again, and I applied my usual strategy, which is... Uh, Kill the one price, play the five three one gaming. Okay. Don't let my opponent activate slash hammer. Yes, and well, in my opinion, bus drop is kind of like lucky in a way because if they don't hit their B string, they lose. Got it. Yeah, Got it. If they hit their B string, then it's it's kind of tough. You need a lot of uh, setups, like a lot of outs, like like do do ready. Yeah. So my third game, I'm against Zoro Gap, which is kind of easy. But this deck, uh, Zoro Gap tech Shining Genesec, so it makes the matchup a little bit harder. But I still win. So uh, so okay, they tech Shining Genesec. Why? Just oh, I guess for Lycan Rock, right? I I, I guess so. Yeah. Okay. But uh, if they, if normally if Zoro Gap don't tech any. Uh, Shamin or Genesec is a auto win. Yeah, it's a auto win. Okay. So, uh, number f uh, my fourth round I'm against Psychic Malama, and I basically run him down on my first game. And second game is more of lucky. He huh. add me down to one, and I don't have Oranguru. It's in my price, and I managed to draw a Rusma. Okay. Yeah. And now, uh, now at this point, so after round four, you're four zero. Yes. Okay. 
And then your fifth round, go ahead. My fifth round is against Bus Rock. It's, uh, look, it's a lost game, 2-1. Two, two and I, my third game, I break. I didn't get any, I did attach two energy. I did attach energy for two turns. Okay. Let me ask, let me ask you about that because I think a lot of people want to know, um, I guess one of, at least in their mind they're thinking that Zygarde bricks a lot. Do do you find that to have, be the case, or is that just not true? No. Okay, the list that I'm playing right definitely doesn't break as much. That's for sure because this list is tested multiple times. Uh huh. So originally the list is with three bony, and after that changed to two bony, and after that changed to no bony. Okay, yes. we'll All talk right. about that at, toward the end of the video because that's definitely crazy. Like, I went, you know, most people are going to look at this list and they're going to be like, there's no Bonnie. Like, that's the whole reason to play Zygarde. But uh, we'll talk about that a little more toward the end. All right, sure. go ahead and tell me. So, so now you were one, is that correct? I'm uh, four one, yes, four one. Okay, and then okay. what, what, so then round six, what happens? against Bus Rock and that's my toughest matchup and basically game one I snapped his artillery and he didn't manage to get a supporter therefore no B three easy win okay but game two okay that's the thing about uh Zyka is that against Bus Rock right if game two if, if they manage to jet punch you for hundred turn one you cannot sell connector because next turn they're gonna jet punch you for another hundred instead. Right. So uh, against bus drop is kind of tricky. It's like if they manage to hit you for hundred or more one turn, chances of you losing is very high. Yes. Okay. And game three, uh, super close series. Uh, more end and snapping just just support and I. I'm lucky, yeah, that I get draw support after the end. Okay. And he don't. Yes. So I won the game two one. Okay. So now you're five uh five one right? Yeah. Going into uh, the last round. Yeah. If I'm five six one six. Labras bus from Toro. Oh uh. Oh, that's what. Sorry, that's my last round. My uh, before that round, I'm against uh Zora like rock. Okay. Two two zero two zero. Okay, that's an easy <laughs> Zora variants are easy for this, right? Correct, easy. Okay. <laughs> so then, so then the Buzz Rock was the last round. So you're yes. five one going into that last round. Now, is it a must win? Is it a win? It's a must win. So oh. I I'm lucky. Okay. Smart. Yeah. <laughs> Then my last round, I ID. Okay. In your last round, you ID. Got it. Yes. So, and, oh, can you go? All right. Oh, all right. So you're in top eight. What seed do you come in at top eight? What seed? Wow. wow. Wait, let me check. <laughs> so basically, uh, for all the people who's interested in Oceana results, you can check Team Rainbow Wings. They always post Oceana results. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let me check. Uh, I am the second seed. Second seed. Okay, second seed. All right. Yes. And so you, so in top eight, what do you play against? I play against uh, Zoro Lycan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Zoro, yeah. Zoro Lycan and, but the, it's easy win, but uh, I think I, I didn't sleep enough. Therefore, uh, game one, I price penalty because uh, I, I elixir and I pick my whole deck up. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So that's the that's very unfortunate, and I lost that game. Okay. Uh, so game two, uh, easy win. Game game three is a super close series, 
and I make a misplay and I still win. So I'm kind of lucky. Yeah. Yeah. And so then my top, top four. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, my top four is against Basro. And game one, he make a super high risk play. He he Guzma and he discard his draw support. And I think he has artillery in his hand. And I just Guzma and kill his Ramore and he break on that game. And his game two, uh, he managed to get two B string out. So it's a loss for me. And game three, I dumped him. Yep. And my final round, I'm against Ultra Malama. Uh huh. I lost. And I, in my opinion, I should have lost that game because I make a lot of mistakes. Okay. Uh, and yeah, and game one, I make a big display by not calculating my damage correctly, and I lost. I and, I got it. Yeah, and game two, price penalty. Yeah, because I take prizes without sufficient energy. So basically, I thought I had four energy, but actually I only have three, and I and I attack using land rough. So and I thought it's a knockout, but it's not a knockout. Uh huh. And and I get two price penalty. So were you nervous going into that finals? I'm actually, in my opinion, I'm not nervous. I would just say, yeah, actually before the night, I, I party, I party until like 3 a.m. So <laughs> I, 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 I would just blame lack of sleep. So yeah. it was, you were just exhausted by that time, right? All right, I was just exhausted. Yeah, yeah. because um, it's my first, it's my first season, mm -hmm. and it's my first regionals. So, uh, I I never really think price money because I don't expect to get any price money at all. But it's just that after my finals, then I realized that oh my god, it's actually a lot at stake. Yeah, exactly. Right. All right. So I I learned my lesson. So yeah, next time try to sleep more. <laughs> Yeah, celebrate afterward, right? Yeah, correct. <laughs> All right, well, so th that's great. So congratulations again coming in second. Uh, I mean, with such a unique deck, I think everybody's just really excited and happy that, Z that Zygarde got on the board. Um, so let's talk a little bit about more about the list. Uh, the, and since we've already kind of mentioned it, so it went from three Bonnie to two Bonnie to no Bonnie. So yes. why? Why why did that happen? Okay, so actually I'm not the one who create who come up with the list, but uh based on what my nation, right? Because he he changes it like eight times and he he tested it a lot. So basically what he said is Zygat with Boney, yes, it's actually very good if you manage to chain it, but to draw Boney out and use it at the right time, the chances is very low. And it's not like you can uh, like you can just draw the Boney from the um, Malo or Artillery or whatever. Because uh, this list we 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 choose to use Scotch Earth instead of uh, Artillery. Okay. Because yes, because we really felt like mm, Rainbow Red is kind of it's a burden in my opinion in this list because everyone who see uh Rainbow Red in play will just snipe the Rainbow Red. Yes, and against Basswall, right? You uh our strategy is uh not to bench any one price. Okay. Unless unless that one price can survive two hits. Yes. So, so uh, the reason is because we want to use our basketball slash hammer to hit him for two hundred. Okay. Yes, that's our strategy as well. So that makes a lot of sense. Okay. So the idea is you're gonna force them to take two prizes, and then yes. you can come in and sledgehammer and take a knockout. Yes. Okay. That's the yes. That's the game strategy that uh, I I have come up with. And uh, as I said again, Bonnie, 
yeah, if you if you got it, yeah, it's good. But chances of you using it is very very seldom. Yeah, that kind of yeah. actually that makes sense because a lot of people have said that when you do play Bonnie, most of the time your opponent just Guzmas around it anyway, and yeah. so they're still going to take prizes. So you know, if that's the case, then why use the Bonnie? Make it more consistent. And like you told me earlier, 200 HP is not, you know, that 10 HP makes a big difference. Um, what other, so you talked about Scorched Earth. Um, why Scorched Earth and not, say, four Brooklet Hills or three Brooklet Hills? Uh, because we cut uh, our draw supporter line. Okay. We only, only include one orange guru. So therefore, uh, we need more stadiums because we, uh, this list uh, doesn't include fuel blower. Okay. Yeah. So, so sometimes, uh, like opponent play parallel city, etc., or Basso play Brooklyn Hill, using Scourge Earth to deny the Brooklyn Hill sometimes is quite clutch. Very especially, good. Yes, especially during uh, this stream window. Okay. Now, uh, and also, I, I, you know, for those that may be more beginners watching this, uh, you know, Scorched Earth also has natural synergy with Zygarde because you're able to get the energy into the discard pile and then cell connector it back onto the Zygarde. So, yeah, correct. What other things should we take note about this list? Anything? I mean, it. It looks like, to be honest with you, it looks a lot like Buzz Rock, but you take the buzzes out and you put Zygarde in, and I like that. I love the idea there because, again, the HP and, uh, you know, you've got a lot of different things to work with here. It's almost kind of like a toolbox here. Yes, and, uh, and what's so good about this list is actually, it's actually faster than Buzz Rock. Like the Brass Rock GX. Okay. Actually, faster. Yes. Because, uh, you see, to charge free energy, right, you need elixirs, right? If not, you cannot charge. But this list uh, has elixirs and Zygarde can charge energy to itself. So, basically, you can turn to Narco Impact without, without uh, any elixirs. I got it. Okay, that's that's a very unique thought there. Yes, and and uh, there is, and the attack can hit one ID with choice band. So, so that's a good number to have. Good match. Thanks. And I guess the other thing about Zygarde, now that we're talking about it, is even though you only, since you're not playing Bonnie, you still have the GX attack available to you, and that can yes. sometimes that's just one turn. A, a tempo like you just get a free yes. turn because they can't goose out of it. Yes, so actually it's kind of clutch. Uh, it's kind of clutch to use the GX at the right time. Yeah, because normally uh, when you are doing price trade, when your opponent cannot kill uh, your Pokemon with energy, mm -hmm. and you can knock them out the next turn. So basically you are trading like two, two to four. Okay. Yeah, and you still can charge your energy to another Pokemon. So that's it's very good. Okay. Well, let's... Um, we've kind of talked about the list. So we know that the Zoroark matchup is pretty easy because you just, you know, you're fighting. You just go in and you hit, hit three Zoroarks with Zygarde and that's the game. Or I imagine you can Claw Slash or whatever you need to do. How do you approach, and you've already kind of talked about the buzz rock, about how that you want to use Sledgehammer and take a, take, kind of put them on odd prizes and kind of try to keep them from being able to get to Beast Ring as much as possible. So trying to play around it. What about the Malamar matchup? How do you approach that, that one? So in my opinion, right, Malamar is 45 to 55 favored Malamar. Okay. But yeah, but uh, so it all depends on how they set up because there's in uh, against Malamara you need to be spontaneous in your position. So example how uh, how they start. So example they they vision. So normally 
uh, some people have an active intake and they reserved for three intake and your strategy and now your strategy change you're not going to kill their in case at all you're just going to kill the attackers the next turn or something so that it, they, you limit their options or if you are too slow if you are far behind because they are too fast you just uh, go toe to toe with their attackers Okay, so it's so if you can, you try to take out the Malamars or the Inkes before they evolve. If not, then it's more head to head, and hopefully yes, right. the hopefully the GX attack can kind of bring you back. Yes, correct. And and it's very hard for it's very hard for Malamar to get the perfect a uh, perfect turn one or turn two. And in my opinion, Malama is like Bolo. If they set up, you lose. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so yeah, so my opinion is uh, still uh, have the Bolo mindset. If they set up, you, you try your best. And if you take the loss, it's okay. Go for next turn because they're not going to get lucky again. Right, right. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's a good so, strategy. Yes. All right. Well, I think that's. Oh, well, is there any changes that you would make to this list uh, if you were, say, going to another tournament next week? Is there anything you would change, or is, would you play the same sixty? <laughs> to be honest, I wanted to use this list in NAIC, but uh, now with the explosion of baby bus, I don't think I'm gonna use this anymore. Okay. Yeah, because this list, this list, uh, pretty much straight up lose to baby bus, unless unless they they bench a GX for you before the beast ring window, and then you have a chance. Okay. Yeah. So in my opinion, this list is the is the perfect list. I will not change it single time. Okay. Yes. Well, well, that's good. Well, Clive, that's uh, all the questions I have for you. Before we go, though, do you have any shout-outs you want to give to anybody? Um, I, I want to shout-out to Ralph, who created this list. Okay. And I want to shout-out to those people who still design that. Try my list, and you will be happy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, Pokedad Fan Club, that's all we have for this episode today. Um, but I, I encourage you to try out this list. Have fun with it. Um, make sure you hit like. Uh, give uh, Clive a like on this list. Subscribe. And uh, comment below. Tell us what your favorite rogue deck or any rogue deck that you would like to see in the future on the channel. Tell us. Put that in the comments. And... Uh, Maybe I'll get with Clive and he can uh, give his role and we can come up with some other crazy wild rogue idea. But anyway, thanks again for watching and thanks again, Clive, for coming on. And we will see you guys later. Bye. Bye-bye.